Hey everybody. Welcome back to A. E. I, I love, love you. you. So guys, on today's video, Angelina has something to tell you. I made a mistake and I accidentally formatted the card and deleted everything that we just recorded for today's video. So basically what we did is we are starting a challenge. I've never seen this done before. We took my piggy bank, Miss Piggy. We decided we were gonna empty it and count all the money. We're gonna go and cash it. Whatever we have is whatever we're allowed to spend today. If you guys at home have piggy banks, you should try this challenge out. I think it's gonna be really fun. Sorry, I deleted all the footage. I feel like he's mad at me. My heart hurts. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, you hurt my heart. We took all of her, her change out of her piggy bank, which is right here. It's not that much. And we're gonna pour all this in there like this. Comment below if you guys can guess how much change is in the change jar. We'll meet you at the bank. You got your little piggy bank? I don't trust myself with glass. Are you ready for this? The biggest step of your life. This is like applying for a house loan. I know. <laughs> Dang, I just scratched my knee. Dang, I need some lotion. All right, we're here at the GTE coin counter. Cash voucher. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. see how much we got. Look at how much here. I feel so bad. Yo, this is fun. <laughs> Oh, just a little bit at a time. Bahamian money. <laughs> Bahamian money? I'll hold that. Wait, am I doing this right? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, run up that check. Run up that check. Run that check up. Run that check up. Okay, babe, shut up. <laughs> run it up, babe, run it up. I'm calling like $30. How much you think, babe? $32. Show them how, how much I'm feeling. I got some merch. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <laughs> 50 cent. This is what happens when you save your change. Look at, at dinner. And dinner on Angelina tonight. Can I get a new highlighter? How are we gonna eat? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just realized that we're sitting here waiting on it, but it's done, so we have to hit the done button. <laughs> oh. Press done, babe. But I feel like it's still counting. No, it's not. <laughs> Big bank. Yeah. How's it feel, babe? Empty. Empty? It feels empty. You got cash, though. You got big bucks. Making money moves, honey. Making money moves. I see you, but I'm trying to be like you when I get older. You know. Jingle, jingle. Here, we got some more to start back up. Oh, good. So where are we going first, babe? So we just left the bank with approximately $28. So now we are headed to, I don't know where you want to go, it's your money. That's right, it's my money. <laughs> That's right, ding. Wish we could have done this with your piggy bank. Guys, please excuse the mess in the back seat. This is just a typical day in the neighborhood. Comment below where we should go get food. Where should, what should we do with it? Whose money is it? My money. Whose money is it? My money. Whose money? Your money. So where are we going? What pet can you buy with $28? A turtle. <laughs> I like turtles. I like turtles. I like turtles. Let's get a turtle. No. We have a tank already. I want a turtle. Oh my gosh. Are we getting a turtle? No. I want to get a turtle. What? A hamster. No. No, they stink. No, we're not getting that. We already have two German Shepherds that we always have to bathe because they go outside and they smell. We're getting something that is an easy, easy upkeep. We're going to the pet store. A snake. I'm scared of snakes. They're pretty cool. We should get one. I've never had a snake. I know what we should buy. What? A pig. No. A real pig. We should get a naked cat. <gasps> oh, cute. Look how pretty. Maybe this kitty looks sad. Babe, what about a snake? So, tortoises are out of the budget. This guy's really cool. Can you imagine getting this? What is that thing? Hey, this guy. <laughs> hey. You're like, stay off my lawn. So guys, turtles are a little bit out of our budget today. So the next place I'm gonna be looking. <laughs> is at hamsters. Guys, I don't see any. Look at that. <laughs> ah, run away! <laughs> oh, 
no. Hamsters are in our budget. Oh, shoot. Look at him. His little legs. Nah, the dogs should eat them, baby. They said we couldn't record in there. We kind of already knew that. But we found out that you can't have small turtles in the state of Florida because they're illegal, because they can carry salmonella, which is interesting because I actually had a little tiny circular turtle when I was younger because we found it in the road. I kept it for a long time and I named it Bob. And then somehow we found out it was a girl, so I changed the name to Bobina. And then I released the turtle into the woods because I wasn't sure if it was eating. I just felt bad for it. I didn't get to play with it enough. So long story short, Turtles were not in the budget. Fish are high maintenance. The hamster, we think the dogs would eat. We don't have enough money to get a bird cage. Today's budget. Guess we're going to the movies, guys. I said we could get a snake. So y'all, first thing that we're getting with our $28 is this buy one, get one free meal. I got a buy one, get one combo. Strawberry lemonade, please. A $20 bill. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. You're not making that up. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. So guys, that was an inside joke between Angelina and I. But every single time I bite, my first bite on a PDQ chicken sandwich, their chicken sandwich is like so like, what's that word? Wide? I guess. Full? Fat? Fat, yeah. That every time I go to bite it, my jaw locks. Angelina, I've told Angelina this the past three times that we've gotten PDQ that my jaw has gotten locked jaw when I bite the sandwich and she doesn't believe me until she watched it like just now and she died laughing. We're here guys. We're at the drive-in theater. I'm literally shaking. Like what the heck? I cannot believe that just happened. I, the crazy thing is I had a feeling the way he was walking up on the truck, did you? <sighs> that was, like I'm literally shaking. Let's just go home. We just got back home. Let's just say the night turned differently than we expected. Nothing worked out at Nothing. all. Nothing, your hand's cold. Sorry. We believe that was a sign because let's just tell you what happened. Horrible, horrible. So first of all, that that drive-in theater you can only pay in cash. So we got all the way there and realized that we left the twenty dollar bill in my car. So we had to go to the bank. We couldn't find the bank that he has, so we were we had to like literally drive to it. We got there, both ATMs were out of service. So we had to go across the street to a different bank, took the cash out, got all the way back to the theater, and we were 15 minutes late. And we look up and on the sign it says two movies. Well, neither one of those was a movie that we were gonna go see. Not one. Because apparently on Google, they put show times in movies that the theater is not actually showing. So we get there and it says two movies, and I'm like, okay, that's not what we were gonna see. We asked him, both of them had been playing for 35 minutes, or we had to wait oh, almost two hours to see the next showing. So we're like, Okay, well, we're not gonna go into a movie 35 minutes late. Like, fine. So we leave, and we were like, why don't we go to this other theater? And we we're looking up times for that, but then he couldn't figure out how to get there, so he's like, let me stop and get some gas. If you guys are not from the area. It's a bad area. Yeah, it's just, it's not the best area. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Elias is like always the type to say like, when we're in these areas, he doesn't like to stop for gas. Um, especially when he's just with me. We stop at this gas station, and when we first got there, some guy was like running out of the gas station yelling. Literally took off and was running all the way to like the different, the next like building or whatever, next door. Elias finished putting gas in the car, and he gets back in the truck, and- I basically I just start pulling off to, um, Slowly though, I start pulling out of the gas station. I'm about to pull into the, like the road, and I'm like just cruising really slow. Elias is cruising now. His truck does have automatic locks on it, but you have to be going a certain speed for it to lock. Usually we lock the door like as soon as we get in the car, we usually lock the door, but he didn't, and we were focused because as we're you know going to pull out of the gas station, like into the main road, he's like walking in front of the car, like just like. 
get by like on the sidewalk. So I let him go by and he's just like nonchalantly like slowly walking, walking Close. closer, but like, like he's walking like in front of the car and curving around and it. curving around it. Like he's trying to get by it and looking like past it, like he's not gonna do anything. And then out of nowhere, he just like goes, Doom! and he tries to grab the he handle. He literally grabs my door handle. Yeah. And like, I punch on the gas and she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, lock the door, lock the door. I locked the door and it made the loud lock noise, which means that it wasn't locked. So the crazy thing was- You must have missed the handle then, if it wasn't locked. This man was on some sort of drugs, like real bad. He literally, I had this feeling that he was gonna come up to the car door, which, you know, when you're growing up, your parents always say, lock your doors, lock your doors. But my eyes, even though I wanted to make sure they were locked, my eyes were just fixed on him and so realized this. So when he came around the car to where my side was, and I had this feeling come over me. I, I grabbed the handle of the door, literally thinking I was gonna have to like hold it closed as he was as he was opening it. He literally grabs the handle of my door and like goes to open it. And Elias hits the gas, pulls the car around, and then you tell them what happened next. I just hit the gas, pull the car, car around because I wasn't like at the point to where I was able to go into the road, hit it to the left, so you swing turn. back around in the gas station, and then obviously this guy was on something. Or off something because he was just like he had no type of mindset or fear no or anything because he was like oh my bad my bad oh my bad like right? yeah like, like real, real like obnoxious he was like standing still in the middle of like the parking lot where the pumps were and was just like like it literally had one shoulder down he was like my bad yeah, my, my bad, bad my, like he didn't you could tell he was on something so angelina freaks out um it was definitely like a scary moment because if he would open the door, we don't know what would have happened. But yeah. luckily he didn't. And Angelina said, "What would ha would have happened if he did open the door? Honestly, I would have punched the gas even faster, and he wouldn't have been able to do anything. I don't think. But that's why I tell Angelina that I don't like stopping in areas like that. Obviously, it can happen anywhere, but just in bad areas, more of that stuff does happen. And the crazy thing is, like, just sitting there, imagining and feeling like I'm gonna have. To to literally play tug of war with this door with this man that we've never met. We didn't know what his intentions were, nothing, but all I could tell is that he could see that I was sitting in the seat. So his strung out butt was going to open the door on my side. Long story short, always lock your doors. Fact. <laughs> this challenge turned interesting. We didn't go to the movie that we wanted to go to. It definitely didn't go as planned, and we honestly believe it was a sign. Today's birthday shout out goes to my dad, Rory. Happy birthday, dad. We had a great weekend a couple weekends back celebrating with you, and we love you and hope you had a wonderful birthday. If it's your birthday month, make sure you comment below. We're still in April. We have like one more week in April, so comment below if you're an April baby, just like me. <laughs> make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you turn your post notifications so every time we post a video, you're notified. And if you're not subscribed to our channel yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and show us some love we love you guys go ahead and try this challenge and let us know what you think about it it's called the piggy bank challenge next we gotta dip into his piggy bank nah that's saving <laughs> comment below and let us know if you guys try this out on your channel and we will see you in our next video this is a e i, I love, love you, you.